Hello and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where I truly have got one of the best videos you are ever going to be watching here on the Bitcoin chart and that is because I'm going to be talking you through these swing shorts that I am in, these scalp short positions that I am in, the targets for these trades, the invalidations to the upside. I'm going to be giving you so much information in this video as well as what we're looking at right now. All morning I've been waiting for this next move to the downside and we're finally seeing it here. Uh, so yeah, I can talk you through this price action live as it's happening right now while wow, you are in for a treat. You are in for a treat today. I'm very happy. I hope that you are too. And uh, yeah, let's just go on. Let's continue this passion. Let's continue the love. And wow, what can I say? Let's go straight into the update. So I want to pick up directly from where I left off the last video that I gave you. This was obviously back on the 17th of August, two days ago now, where in that video, I was telling you, I am in a short position. I am in swing shorts. I am in sculpt shorts. I was showing you very transparently the positions that I was in and the next idea that I had. That was within this mini range that we were in. I was saying, look out for a swing failure pattern, failed auction of the highs and another move to the downside. From that prediction that I gave you, this is how it played out. We moved up. We took the highs and we got another move to the downside. So you can see what we were looking at is exactly how it played out. Not just that, of course, I was also being very transparent, as I told you in that video, showing you the 1.8 million short position that I was in right there. And as soon as we saw that move up and took the highs, as I was looking for, I went over obviously in my group telling everybody, but also I was very kind and I went over on Twitter for free to tell everybody, hey, Hope that you watched that last update because things have gone exactly as predicted. We have now seen that failed auction. I have now compounded my short for another $500,000. And now I obviously at that time sat with 25,000 profit, short position of $2.2 million. And well, that actually that trade now sits on around $160,000 profit, by the way. We're talking about two days, $160,000 profit. But anyway, I digress. This was just a small challenge account that I created for myself, 25 Bitcoin. That is now at, oh, by the way, over 100 Bitcoin in two months. 25 to over 100 Bitcoin in two months of trading. If you want to see more about that, if you want to see some of the best trades, if you want to see you know, updates on this, smash that like button to over 3,000 likes and I will go in here. I will go through some trades. I'll even do some live trading for you um, because that's what people want. And actually, this is something, well, here we go. People have wanted to see live trading and we're going to be actually giving you this. We are going to be giving you this just so we can finally, you know, some people say, hey, this is hindsight. This is X. This is Y. This is Z. We're going to be doing some live trading for you. So you can look forward to that. And if you want to see some for free, smash that like button. You're not going to want to miss it. That's all I'll tell you. You are not going to want to miss this because we are going on fire. We are on fire right now. Uh, and we continue. So obviously we saw that failed auction. I told everybody for free over on Twitter, hey, I've compounded that short for another $500,000. Let's go for lower. Obviously the next level that we had to the downside was this weekly, was the weekly. And madre mia, look at it, look at it, look at it. We come down, we tap that weekly. Now, let's calm this down. Let's slow it down. Just so, you know, obviously I, I, I like to be excited. I like to be happy, but I understand maybe I just need to calm it down for this video. Although I, I, I must admit, I'm, I'm just feeling really, really good today. Uh, we, we hit that weekly to the dollar. Wow, that was perfect. We actually bounced up to the daily naked point of control. And from that daily naked point of control, we obviously lost that weekly. And now we're looking down towards $21,000 few things that I want to educate you here, um, just so you can fully get into my brain. Yeah, it's all well and good saying, hey, I made this amount of money. At the end of the day, I'm not bothered about that money that I'm making. It really is just a number on a screen. Uh, what I love is the process behind the trades and just that feeling of winning. Like, I'm, <laughs> I must admit, the number is so irrelevant for me. It's, it's that feeling of putting in hard work and then just like, just knowing that, hey, like, this went really as predicted. This is, this is something that makes me ultra proud. Like, I'm just so proud and happy when I do that type of call. Like, it just feels really, really good. And that's the feeling that I'm in for. And I want to explain a few things here educationally. So, of course, when I made that video and I was looking for another move up above the highs, why was that? Well, it's a few things. We stop out all the early shorts. We get some breakout long occurs occurring. Okay, this is the phenomenon of a failed auction, which is very, very nice nowadays. Okay, we move up above the high take some liquidity, drop it back down, move back down towards the weekly, which was a key level of support. Okay, we actually got a perfect, perfect bounce off the weekly, which for me was a take profit on that short position. Okay, then we obviously seen another move to the upside, a rejection off the daily naked point of control, trend change off that daily naked point of control, retest of the weekly, loss of the weekly. Okay, then you consolidate here around 22,800 before an extremely large move to the downside. 
I'd like to just show you a few posts within inside the group, just so you can again, once again, get into my head and I can explain a few things a bit more educationally for you. So these are posts taken from the Read Only Coaches Only channel. Once again, like we have received so much feedback, really good feedback, and we have been acting and implementing so many changes at Chart Champions. We really have changing a lot of things for you, all positive changes that you've been requested. Of course, one of them was a read-only coaches channel where, you know, we just come in, post our analysis, tell, we, tell you what we're looking for, and, um, you know, in a place dedicated to just our posts. Well, these were my posts from a few days ago. Obviously, the Picasso drawing came out once more from a members only live stream again people wanted more members only content well this is what we gave you we're obviously looking for that next drop to the upside rise to the top of the trend line another drop this is the es it has a direct correlation with bitcoin obviously this is how we saw it play out we got that drop as predicted another rise to the top of the trend line and we lost that trend line and that was my moment in time of thinking Right, this is now primed for a drop on, on Bitcoin. Well, because we're also trying primed for a drop on, on the ES. So that in that time I was remaining short on Bitcoin and obviously looking for lower prices. We can see how price progressed throughout the day and the ES came straight into the CC. So ES coming into the CC, key level of resistance. We obviously saw the ES rejecting from the CC while Bitcoin simultaneously took that high. Live in the time, I'm telling my team, you know, I've compounded another $500,000 on that challenge account that I'm running. And, you know, let's that, that's, that's see what happens here. Obviously, we came down in the end. We did get that rejection. ES did reject from the CC. Bitcoin did reject from that failed auction. And we obviously came down to that weekly where we come down, tap that weekly perfectly. Well, in the end, we put in like then another mini range here, of course. Okay, and from that mini range, we obviously just remain range bound. And for me, it was really, really key. Within that range, I knew that if we had broke the range height, which we never done, by the way, <clears throat> we could be looking at back up towards those highs. In the end, we obviously remain range bound here. We obviously lost the low, which was that weekly. And I was very, very keen and made it very obvious that if we lose the weekly, then I'm looking for $21,000. A really good question that somebody asked me is, well, Daniel, isn't there a lot of levels between $23,000 and $21,000? Why are you not interested in longing $22,800? Why are you not longing, interested in longing $22,500? You know, what, what, what about all these other levels? My answer was really simply and clear. Yes, there are some sub levels, but none of those are interesting for me. I'm not going to be taking any longs before between 23 and 21k. I'm not going to be closing any of my shorts or taking any take profits. Why? Because I had great confidence in a very large and quick drop to the downside. It's something that I've been very key emphasizing to my team. This short originally is going to be a hard short to get into. Once we got into it, let's remain patient because I truly believe the drop is going to be quick. And the drop, well, I think you can all agree, has been quick, down 7% on the day. But once again, the ES here has been absolute key to that prediction. The way that we come up and hit that trend line, we started to get the pullback, losing the lower trend line, really, you know, accelerating the drop here on Bitcoin. It really has played a great, great part in the role. Um, so, yeah, as I, talk, as I told you, I'll talk you then through what I'm looking through right now. Well, right now I am remaining short on Bitcoin. Okay, that is the scalp shorts. That is the swing shorts. Okay, so what is my what would be my invalidation? Because I'm always telling you, yes, I'm looking for lower. Yes, I'm in short positions. That does not mean price cannot go up. Of course, price can go up. And if it does go up, I need to know where and why I am wrong. Well, right now I'm really simply just going to be looking at the VWAP. Okay. So for me, this is my key level. If we can reclaim this, then I can kind of uh, change my analysis, let's say, or change my analysis or change my perspective. Right now, I'm obviously looking at this daily level, which you can see marked out. Do we get a reaction from the daily? Time will tell. If we do not get a reaction, then I can look down simply for lower. This is not, you know, this is not a massive, massive level by any stretch of the means, but it is a level nevertheless. It's a level that I'm looking for right now. It's a level that I'm happy to remain short in. You know, I'm, I'm not going to panic. I'm not going to be scared. I'm going to be remaining short. I've made my plans, I've traded my plans, <clears throat> and now it's time to be very patient indeed and wait for the, you know, wait for the, the, the fruits of the results, um, you know, to come to me now. So yeah, that was uh, how I got into those shorts. That's how we took the highs from the last video. That's then how we got the drops. Oh yeah, shout out to Robert, by the way. This guy also has had his total account up 260% in the last 50 days. Thank you for all the help. Chart Champions Loyal, CC Pool. You know, that's the type of results. You know, this is what I mean by it. It's, for me, like the numbers on the screen. Yeah, I made 160 grand in two days on that challenge account. It's really, honestly, I, I really don't care about it. Honestly, I don't. Seeing this type of stuff, like feeling the proudness of making the calls, seeing, you know, other people in the other people in the group able to, you know, really change their lives like this, that for me is so much more powerful. And I mean that with the most honest sincerity possible. Like that for me is 
why I do this. This is what it's all about. Seeing people truly changing their lives like this. For me, that's, it's, it's powerful. And it's something that you cannot buy with money. You know, it's, it's just special. Um, anyway, I don't want to go too much talking about this. How long have we gone up for the update? 10 minutes. So I'm going to try and wrap it up then. So yeah, for me, I've got a, a, this daily level to the downside where I can look for the swing failure pattern or failed auction. If we don't get any reaction from this, I'll simply look down for 21K or lower, okay? For me, the key level to the upside is the VWAP where then we can foresee a range potentially forming here where once again, just as we look for the highs we took on that last move, we can obviously look for the highs to be taken here. If we reclaim that high, we can be looking back up to 22,800, okay? So it's really simply, I've got the, I've, got, I've done my technical analysis, I've got the levels marked out, then I set my alerts, I wait for the reaction. If the reaction is night, I'll take the trade, just like I did here. I had my alert set for the high. I wait for the reaction. I saw a failed auction. I added on to my short position. If I did not get the reaction that I wanted, I would have closed the short. But I had I, I had a lot of confidence, I must admit, in the failed auction. It's like one of these things that sometimes I just... I just have a really good feeling, what can I say? But that's, that's, that's what happens when you've been doing this for over 10 years. Been doing this for 12 years now. And sometimes when you've been doing something for so long, you've taken hundreds and thousands of trades. You've seen these things play out time and time again. Your honestly, your confidence, your intuition, your feelings of the market is just, well, it's unmatchable. And well, it, it, I mean, the results speak for themselves. That's all I can say. The results speak for themselves. So yeah, I suppose I'm going to wrap it up here. If you want to see a live stream from me, hit that like button. If you want to see so, uh, just a glimpse of the live trading, the, you know, obviously the, the majority is going to be for the members that we're going to be doing and that is going to be coming. But uh, yeah, if you want to learn about uh, how to trade, if you want to see these read-only channels, what we're doing, the next levels that we're looking for, live in the time, obviously, before I come over here on YouTube, that's obviously all over at chartchampions.com. Okay, here you've got, another name, another bit of feedback. People wanted the quick versions of the Contenders videos. We now got all the quick versions of the videos. I mean, we've just been implementing a lot of positive changes that you've been requesting. Um, so yeah, if you want to see more, head over to the website. That's where you can get involved in the Discord. That's where you can get involved in the community. Community and that's where you can learn to trade uh, alongside me. So Thea, thank you ever so much, everybody. I truly hope you've enjoyed this video. And I suppose I'll wrap it up by saying, yeah, thank you ever so much. Have a brilliant weekend. I truly love you all. If you're not following over on Twitter, go over there and follow me right now because I'm giving away quite a lot of information there for free. That is actually truly very helpful. And uh, well, I'm going to have to end with this, I suppose. No financial advice on this video. At the end of the day, this is just a entertainment educational video only. So obviously I hope you've learned from this. I'll catch you in the next one and let's continue to crush the charts. CC Paul send their regards. I love you all and have a brilliant day, everybody. Let's go.